Boo, what are you doing? What's going on, Boo? It's 7 a.m. And, uh, I heard, like, noise out of this room, like, banging noise. I mean, it woke me up out of a sound sleep. It looks like Boo was playing a piano. He jumped down. Boo, I'm tired. I didn't get to bed till 2 in the morning. I need some sleep. Yeah. Okay, I switched cameras because this one is better in low light situations. I don't know what's going on with Boo. I just gave him food. It's like he's spooked or something. It's really weird. What are you doing, Boo? Boo, I gotta go back to bed. I'm exhausted. Eat your food, Boo. I'll play with you later. Stella has a new game that she likes to play. It's called Attack the Toy That's Under the Blanket. It's basically just one of the wand toys, and if I move it around, she goes crazy over it. But it's only this wand toy, like if you move anything else under the blanket, she doesn't go crazy over it. It's weird. And then sometimes her nails get caught on the blanket. Of course, the blanket gets all wrecked also. It's an old blanket. Stella has been laying on my legs for probably 10 or 15 minutes now. I just went through all of my emails on my phone. And I need to get up. And I need to get moving. And I need to do stuff. It's already 11.30. I slept in. I relaxed. If the cats had their way, all I would do all day is sleep with them and play with them. They really want me to be a cat. Right, Stella? It is about 12 p.m. right now, and I just brought a plate of wet food out for Hydrox. There's Hydrox. Hey, Hydrox, you wanna eat? Are you hungry? Hydrox, you hungry? Want some food? Do you want some food? He's stretching in anticipation. Look, tail's in the air. Oh my God. <clears throat> and he's going over to his food. But I have the food in my hand. And I'm gonna go down there and give it to Hydrox. And he's gonna run away. See? Oh my God, guys, look. He didn't run, he just moved over. I'm going to swap out the plate on this. I'm going to take this and put it in here. 
The other nice thing about these plastic plate holders is they do keep the paper off of the ground so the paper does not get as wet. Okay, Hijax. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm putting it under the table. These other two plates I'm throwing away. And there's Hijax waiting to eat. Okay, Hijax, eat your food. So there's Hijax eating his food. And right now I'm walking on the patio and he's still eating his food. So Hydrox is getting a little bit braver with humans. There's Stella watching from the door and there's Boo watching from the window. And there's Hydrox eating his food. Stella went downstairs to hang out in her box. Stella loves her box. It is about 1.27 p.m. and I am going to spend some time in Boo's room. I gotta get myself situated, Boo. I brought in my laptop and the hard drive. Just have to go find the other camera so I could dump all the footage from the SD cards. And I could hang out with Boo, get a video done, and uh, we could play, Boo. Okay? Stella's hanging out under the kitchen table. She's been following me around all morning. She's been wanting attention. There's Stella at the gate. She was just walking by. How are you, Stella? Do you see Boo? You see your boyfriend, Boo? Boo! You wanna come here and hang out with Stella? Be a good boy. So far, Stella's quiet. And there's Boo. And there's Stella. Stella, that's Boo. And there's Stella. And there's Boo. Stella, don't you remember when you guys were friends? You guys were BFFs. You remember that, Stella? You need me to show you the videos? You know, because I do have videos, Stella. I could find them and I could show you when you and Boo used to hang out all the time together. You guys used to eat dinner together, do you remember? Everyone ate on the same platter. You hung out with Boo all the time. I never saw you guys apart. Don't you remember, Stella? It was always you and Boo. You guys are buddies. Yeah, he's your buddy. He's back. He's back to be your buddy, Stella. Yeah, you and Boo again. Yeah. That's right. Right, Boo? You want to be nice to Stella, right? Right, Boo? You want to be nice to Stella? You want to be nice to her, right? Boo does not want to go near the gate, so there's Stella and there's Boo. Boo, Boo. He doesn't really care about Stella right now. Now, I have a few treats here, and what I was going to do is I was going to sit down and give them each treats at the same time. But Boo can't handle treats without scratching, so I'm going to give Stella a few treats, and uh, I'm going to give Boo a few treats um, in his room, not far from where Stella is. Okay, so Stella's eating her treats, and Boo's eating his treats. And right now they are about two feet apart from each other. And there's Stella eating her treats. And Boo's looking at Stella. Okay, so I just gave Boo some more treats right here in the doorway. I moved the draft dodger over and then I gave Stella some treats on the other side of the gate. So right now they're maybe like a foot and a half away from each other. Boo's in no rush to go greet Stella at all. In fact, he's backing away more than anything. All right, one more treats? I just put some treats for Boo on the rug. I don't think he sees them though. Boo, eat your treats. Boo, there's treats, look. So there's Stella. There's Boo's treats. And there's Boo. Is he gonna get his treats? Get your treats. Getting his treats. Boo's eating his treats. Stella's sitting there. Right now there's no hissing.
Stella is very happy anytime she eats treats. One more treat, Stella? Okay, right now they're both eating treats. And they're maybe a foot away from each other. Maybe a little bit more. Boo smelling the air in the hallway. And Stella's just eating her treats. Stella likes treats. And there's Boo. One more treats? Boo, you want treats? Boo, Boo keeps retreating into the room after he eats his treats. I just moved the draft dodger away and uh, I gave Stella two treats, she ate him. And then I put Boo's treats down, but he's not moving. He's looking at them, but he's not moving. Boo, eat your treats. Eat your treats, go get them, come on. Okay, so I moved the treats into the room where Boo is and he just ate them, so he just doesn't want to go near Stella anymore. Stella's just sitting there watching Boo. Now she's laying down, getting more comfortable. Stella is very motivated by treats. Right now she's just kind of watching Boo. And Boo just wants to play with his toys. I think I'm going to put the Whirly toy in the tent. 2 p.m. Boo's been sitting up there looking out the windows. Hey, Boo. He heard me turn the camera on. He's turning into a ham. Hey, Boo. Gonna hang out here. Yep. He's purring. Today his eyes are looking very yellow, very golden. When Boo was living outside, he spent a lot of time by himself outside also. So, some people are concerned that he spends quite a bit of time alone in this room, but he also spent the time alone outside. It's not like he was hanging out with Hydrox or other cats. He was just like on his own. Right, Boo? So other than, you know, the time that I spent hanging out with him in the morning and in the evening, which was only like maybe an hour or two a day, uh, other than that, he really didn't spend time with anybody. So now, he's actually spending more time uh, with people and other cats than he was when he was living outside. Right, Boo? Boo? Right, Boo? How you doing, Boo? His ears are now looking cleaner than ever because obviously, now that he's been inside, he's not getting dirty. So all of his grooming now is really adding up because, you know, when a cat lives outside, you know, they groom, but then they get dirty again. When they live inside, they groom, and then they stay clean. So then when they groom again, they get even cleaner. And they'll continue to get even cleaner. And that's the nice thing about having indoor cats. They're nowhere near as grimy as outdoor cats. Right, Boo? Here's Stella hanging out by the gate. I just went into the kitchen to get something to drink and Stella followed me in there. So um, I told her to come into Boo's room with me. She came this far 
And then Boo walked over to see her. They didn't smell each other at the gate or anything, but they didn't look at each other. They were still about a foot apart. No hissing, no growling. 3 p.m. And Boo has decided he wants to go smell around the gate. I think he sees Stella. He might. Hey! Every time he looks like he's gonna jump, I just yell, hey. And then he comes back. Hello, Boo. How are you? Boo's been playing with me. And I've been brushing him. But he's definitely getting his energy back and he's definitely a lot more active than he was like last week. Right? And he's jumping like a boss. Go ahead, jump. See? No problems. I just put his whirly toy on in the tent. I need to go out and run an errand right now and hopefully that'll keep him uh, occupied. I don't plan on being gone long at all. What are you doing, boo? Now he's blocking the door. Okay, now I moved. Okay, it is 5.27 p.m. I'm sitting here on my computer answering emails and boo is here sitting on the phone and all of a sudden, I just looked up, and who was peering at us through the gate? Splash. But then when I looked at him, and I went to get the camera, he walked away. But Splash has been looking at us. Right, Boo? You saw Splash? Did you see Splash? Yeah, saw him? You like Splash? So I'm sitting here with Boo right now and he literally just took one of his paws and sunk his claws into my knee. It was painful. Um, and what I had to do was I had to like squeeze his paw and then lift the claws out of me in the same way that he put them into me so I didn't rip anything. And right now it doesn't even look like uh, it's bleeding or anything, but that was a close one. And thankfully when I grabbed his paw and then like squeezed it off. He didn't fight it or anything, so. Boo, no claws, okay? No claws. But it does still hurt. 6.30 p.m. The cats wanna eat. Boo's not looking too hungry, but the other cats are looking for food. Boo's almost in the hallway, and Simba's looking at him through the gate. I don't hear any hissing. Oh, oh. Simba put his paw through there. Are they trying to play? I don't hear hissing. I don't hear growling. Every time I move on this love seat, the love seat makes rickety noise. It looks like Simba walked away. Oh no, he's right there. See him? He's very curious about Boo. His tail's up. Six forty eight PM and someone is knocking on the gate. Uh oh. Here goes Boo to look. Boo's like, who's knocking on the gate? Fact, it sounded like someone might have been trying to jump the gate. Who do you think it could be? Who is that, Boo? Who's there, Boo? Who's there? Look who it is. It's Stella. Hello, Stella. Hello, Stella. Who do you see, Stella? Stella, give me five more minutes, okay? Five more minutes. Then you can eat. Boo, she gets very hungry. It is 7 p.m. The downstairs cats are eating their food, and Boo is getting a little bit of the nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites. 
He's also getting half a can of the Sheba turkey pad thai. Hey boo, want some dinner? I'm gonna take the old bowl away. Nope, that's the old bowl. There's the new bowl. There's the dinner bowl. Right here. So while Boo is eating his dinner, what I want to do is I want to take like this, this, and the towel by the window, and I want to throw all of these in the washing machine and get them washed. I'm going to put a new towel up, and then when this is uh, dry, I'll put these back. If anyone has been curious as to what has been under the blanket, it has been this uh, vintage love seat uh, from the 50s. Um, mid-century modern furniture. Uh, right now there's no claw holes in this which is surprising because it is like uh, vinyl but uh, I'd like to keep it that way so I want to put the blanket on it before Boo jumps all over it. So far he's been really good. Um, he's just been sitting by the window and right now he's sitting down here on the rug. Okay so everything has been washed, dried, and returned to love seat and then down here next to the love seat um, I have put the carrier again uh, hopefully it won't cause him any anxiety and uh, maybe he'll get used to it again so right now I have the window all the way up and uh, there's a lot of screen exposed um, I have the attic fan on to draw in the cool air and so far he has made no motions toward the screen at all. He's really content just like looking out and seeing what's going on. Mm -hmm. 